Hello, you are welcome to Remedia One platform for learning. This platform has been designed to help students who are going to write their final exams in integrated science. WASI. Today we are going to look at 2022 integrated science past question. So let's look at the discussion. This is paper one. That's the objective test. So we are going to solve all the questions. I, I will explain to you the answers, why I chose that particular answer. So let's go. A. Gravitational force. B. Frictional force. C. Magnetic force. And then D. Centripetal force. The correct option here is option B, which is frictional force. So anytime you apply lubricant to the moving part of an engine, you are actually reducing friction between the moving parts. That is, you are reducing frictional force. So that is the main function of lubricant in engine. Question number 26. Which of the following alloys contain copper? A. Brass or I. Brass. I. I. Bronze. I. 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 Duralumin. Over here, the correct option is I, 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 and I, I, I. All of them contain the element copper. All of them contain the element copper. Duralumin, bronze, and brass, they all contain the element copper. So all of them are correct. So the correct answer here is option D. Question number 27. Question number 27. Members of the same species living in the same place at the same time make up Again, members of the same species living in the same place at the same time make up A. Population B. Ecosystem C. Community And then D. Trophic level So the correct option here is option A So for example, if you have human beings that is members of the same species like human beings living in the same place at the same time you make up the population of human beings So the correct option here is option A. Population Now let's go to question number 28 Addition of an atom of a pentavalent element to a tetravalent element is known as, or I, is known as doping, which is correct because we are adding impurities to another element, so it is called doping. That's correct. I, I forms an N type semiconductor, forms an N type semiconductor, which is also correct because anytime we add a pentavalent element or impurity to tetravalent element, that's type of semiconductor form. It is an extrinsic semiconductor, but specifically we call it N-type semiconductor. So that's also correct. And then III, it forms a P-type semiconductor. This one is not correct. Uh, this one is not correct. It is when you add a trivalent element to a tetravalent element, which forms a P-type semiconductor. But when you add a pentavalent element, then you form an N-type semiconductor. So the correct options are I and II. I and II. So over here, the correct option here option A, which is correct. I and I, I are only correct. Now let's go to question number 29. Which of the following metals is liquid at room temperature? Now we know that all metals are solid at room temperature except mercury. So the correct option here, mercury is the correct option. Option C, it is the only metal which is liquid at room temperature. Option A, aluminum is solid, lead is solid, silver is also solid. So it is only mercury which is metal but liquid at room temperature. Question number 30. A car of mass 1,600 kg moves with a velocity of 800 meter per second. Determine the momentum of the car. Now momentum is calculated as the mass times velocity. So let me make momentum capital M just to distinguish it from the mass small m. So when you multiply the mass which is 1,600 by the velocity which is 80 meter per second, the correct answer here will be option D. Just multiply it, 1600 by 80, and you get 1.28 times 10 to the power 5 kilogram meter per second. So that will be the momentum of the car. Question number 31. Good quality seats should be A. Dressed with recommended chemicals. B. Free from debt. Weed seeds and pest. C. Hard seed coat with small micropyre. And D. Brightly colored. The correct option here is option B. That is for the seed to be described as having good quality. Then it must be free from dead particles. It must be free from weed seeds. And then it must also be free from pest infestation. So that is how we describe good quality seeds. 32. Which of the following structures in plants prevent water loss? A. Xylem. B. Cuticle. C. Phloem. And then D. Mesophyll. The correct option here is 
option B, which is cuticle. So on the surface of the leaves and on the surface of the plant, we have some cuticle layers. And that cuticle layer reduces water loss by transpiration. So this cuticle layer is actually the uh, structure that prevents water loss in plant. 33. Aluminium is used for making high tension cable because it is to I, light, II, highly conducting, III, brittle. I light is correct because aluminium has very low density. That is, it is light. And then II, it is also highly conducting. It is a good conductor of electricity. So it's also true. And then II, it is brittle. In fact, aluminium is not brittle. It is rather malleable, not brittle. It is also ductile, not brittle. So uh, I, I, I should not be part of the answers. So the correct answers are I and I, I only. So I will go for option A, which is the correct one. Let's go to question number 34. The gas produced when dilute hydrochloric acid reacts with prior oxocarbonate for salt is A. Ammonia, B, carbon 2 oxide, C, carbon 4 oxide, and then D, hydrogen. So let's look at the reaction. Uh, hydrochloric acid, HCl, reacting with CO3, 2 minus ion, will give us CO2 plus water. So HCl has the acid. So we can even remove this, this Cl here. So we have H plus. Yeah, let me make it that way. H plus, because the HCl contains H plus. And then the triodocarbonate 4 uh, salt also contains CO3, 2 minus ion. So when these two chemicals react, we form CO2 plus water. And so the correct option here is carbon 4 oxide. So the correct option here is option C, that is carbon 4 oxide. Question number 35. An electrical component that is used to vary electric current is the A. Ammeter, B. Amplifier, C. Rheostat, D. Voltmeter. So A. Ammeter is used to measure electric current. So it is not used to vary current, but rather it is used to measure current. Amplifier is used to amplify voltage. And then C, rheostat, is rather used to vary electric current. So the correct option here is option C, rheostat, which is used to vary electric current. As for voltmeter, it is used to measure voltage or uh, potential difference across the terminals. So the correct option here is rheostat or variable resistor. That's another name, variable resistor. But we normally call it rheostat. Then, question number 36. The material used for propagating cassava is the A, seed, B, sucker, C, stem cutting, then D, root tuber. So the correct option here is stem cutting. Because cassava, we use stem cutting. That is the stem, then we cut it into pieces. So we call it stem cutting. Question number 37. Which of the following statements about small scale industry is correct? Which of the following statements about small scale industry is correct? A. Makes use of advanced technology. Which is not true. Because for small scale industry, you don't need any advanced technology. B. Is always capital intensive, which is not true. Because for small scale industry, you don't need that much capital to start. C is always in the rural area. And then D, in fact, C is not also not true because sometimes you can also have small scale industries in the urban areas. It is not always in the rural area. Now let's go to option D. It operates with minimum input of material, which is true. So the correct option here is option D. Now let's go to question number 38. The pigment in the skin responsible for skin coloration. The pigment in the skin 
responsible for skin coloration is A. Carotin, melanin, C. Velamin, and then D. Xanthophil. The correct option here is melanin. In fact, we have melanin in our skin and it protects us from the harmful UV radiations. That's why it is not good to bleach the skin because once you bleach the skin, you remove the parts that contain the melanin and the person is now exposed to this harmful radiation. In fact, you can get a skin cancer if you do that. So that's my advice. Stop skin bleaching. Number 39. An advantage of practicing mixed cropping is the A. Competition for soil nutrients among crops. B. Destruction of virgin forest. C. High rate of disease spread. And then D. Establishment of weeds among crops. In fact, the correct option here is option A. That is uh, competition for soil nutrients among crops. It's a disadvantage of practicing mixed cropping. In fact, when you say mixed cropping, it means that you are cropping different types of crops on the same piece of land at the same time. And because you have different types of crops, each crop has different nutrient requirements. So there's always competition among the crops. And, and it, it is a disadvantage. So that's the correct option, option A. Question number 40. A flower with both stamens and capels is said to be A. Irregular B. Monaceous C. Hermaphrodite D. Dioecious In fact, when you say that a flower is having both stamens and capels, it means that it is dioecious. That is, it has both the male and the female part. So we say it is dioecious. If it is hermaphrodite, it means that... So the correct option here is option D. Dioecious That is, a flower with both stamens and kettle. That is, it has both the male and the female parts. 41. During tender storm, lightning is seen before the sound is heard, although both occur at the same time. This is because A. Sound needs a material medium for propagation. B. Sound waves. Sound waves are longitudinal waves, whereas light waves are transverse. C. Light travels faster than sound. And then D. Light waves are mechanical. The correct option is C. Option C. That is, we see lightning before the sound is heard because light travels faster than sound. So that's the correct option. Now let's go to question number 42. The babizu is purposely used for A. Ethering up. B. Trimming crops plants. C. Ear notching farm animals. And D. Castrating farm animals. The correct option here is option D. That is, the babizo is an instrument which is used to castrate farm animals. When you say castration, it means that we are removing the testicles or the cord that supplies sperm so that the animal becomes docile. Now let's go to question number 43. The gas in the atmosphere that absorbs ultraviolet rays to minimize the heat reaching the Earth's surface is A. Carbon dioxide, ozone, chlorofluorocarbons, and then D. Oxygen. The correct option here is B. That is the ozone layer. There is a layer of ozone. Ozone has this formula, O3. That is the formula for ozone, O3. And it is the layer or the gas that prevents ultraviolet rays from the sun from reaching us because that UV radiation or that UV ray contains harmful radiation that can cause skin cancer. Question number 44. So the question again, the fraction of petroleum distillation used as fuel for heavy duty engines is A. Gasoline or petrol, the same as petrol, gasoline the same as petrol, B. Diesel, C. Bitumen and then D. Kerosene. In fact, for heavy duty engines, we use diesel. So the correct option here, option B, which is the correct option, that's diesel. Now let's go to question number 45. Lime juice tastes sour because it contains A, acid, B, alkali, C, basic salt, D, double salt. The correct answer is option A, that is lime juice contains acid. In fact, the acid in lime juice, there are two types of acid in lime juice. One is called ascorbic acid and the other one is called citric acid. So lime juice is acidic and that is why it tastes sour. Because we know that acids have sour taste, so lime juice is acidic. Question number 46. The largest excretory organ of the human body is the A. Liver, B. Lungs, C. 
pancreas, D, skin. The correct option is skin. In fact, we have four main excretory parts in humans. We have the lungs, we have the liver, we have the skin, and then we also have the kidney. In fact, pancreas is not part. So we have liver, lungs, skin. Skin is the largest. It excretes sweat, that is water and then excess salt. The liver excretes bile and then, yeah, bile. And then the lungs excrete carbon dioxide or carbon dioxide, then water. So skin is the largest excretory organ in the human body. Go to question number 47. The blood vessel that carries oxygenated blood to the heart is A. Pulmonary artery, B. Pulmonary vein, C. Iota, and then D. Vena cava. The correct option is option B. That's the pulmonary vein. In fact, we know that all veins carry deoxygenated except the pulmonary vein, which rather carries oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart. So that is the answer. Pulmonary vein carries oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart. Question number 48. An electric appliance is rated 60 watts. This means the appliance A uses a current of 60 ampere per second. B runs a main voltage of 60 volts. C has a resistance of 60 watts. D uses 60 joules of energy every second. Which is the correct option? So the correct option here is option D. It, so when you say that the wattage is 60 watts, it means the amount of energy it consumes per second. That is, if it is 60 watts, it means that it consumes 60 joules of energy every second. So anytime you are buying any electrical appliance, check the wattage. The higher the wattage, the more energy it consumes. And of course, the higher the bill. So check. But of course, if it uses higher voltage means, for example, if it is a light bulb, it also produces more and more brighter uh, light than the one with lower voltage. Anyway, that's advice. Now let's go to question number 49. DNA testing is used to determine A. The sex of a baby. B. When a, ba when a baby is to be born. C. The father of a child. And then D. Whether twins will be born. The correct option here is the father of the child. Father of the child. So we say it is used to determine the paternity of a child. So if a man impregnates a woman and, and the man says that oh, this child is not mine, we can use the DNA test and then it can either confirm or deny whether what the man is saying is true or false. So we use the DNA test to determine the the paternity of a child or the father of a child. Last question, number 50. Which of the following statements about resistors connected in parallel is correct? Resistors in parallel is correct. The total resistance is A, less than any one of them. B, greater than any one of them. C, equal to the greatest resistance. D, the addition of the resistance. The correct answer is option A. So anytime you have resistors connected in parallel, uh, the total resistance is always less than any one of them. For example, if I have two resistors of one ohm and then I also have two ohm and that these resistors are connected in parallel, then the total resistance is always given as 1 over R, which is the total, equals to 1 over 1, that's the first one, plus 1 over 2. So when you do it, the total answer will be less than 1. So always, it is always less than any one of them. This is the end of our discussion. Thank you for watching. Make sure that after watching, you like it, then you subscribe it. Make sure that you also share to your friends so that you, they also benefit. Thank you for watching. My name is Samuel Enchi. I'll come your way next time with another form of discussion under integrated science. What's, thank you.